What is up everybody? It's the Hunter GT with the HunterGT.com. That's right, go check out the website. Got some rad stuff going on over there. The metal detecting forum, all that good stuff. I have the Fisher F75 Plus out in action today. That is right, the Huntress has her Technetics G2 Plus pink going on. She's rocking the Fisher F Pulse right there in her hand. I have the Tech Point. Let me, let me get it out of the holster. There it is, the tech point right there from Technetic. So brand new pulse induction pinpointers. You can pick those up over at technetics.direct.com along with her G2 Plus in pink for your lady in your life, for the lady in your life that likes the pink. Or you guys, there's nothing wrong with pink. Don't be ashamed of that. So we're out here at this old park, turn of the century, 1900s. We have found some teens here i want to say we found some teens wheat pennies here yep for sure for sure so here we go as you can see the huntress has a cord connected and so do i i know i have said that we are going to be doing a bluetooth uh wire wire free type setup but uh it just didn't work out. I can't recommend the product that we are using. We've had some issues, both of us, at about the same time. Never got it to really, it worked as desired at first. Then I was like, oh, all pumped up during the videos. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have this awesome video coming up. But then we started to have troubles and I think we just abandoned the project for now. Um, we are definitely sticking to the cords for right so now. Man. So it is what it is. First find of the day, enough babbling. What do you got there, Huntress? Look at that, it is ringing up in the gold range, gold range as well. She found an ear ring, spit it out there. So she has a golden type earring there. Very and, nice. Uh, first find of the day. Well, that definitely beats my uh, 1976 penny. Oh, see, this wasn't my first find. Oh, it wasn't your first find? This was. Oh, well, it's a beaver tail. <laughs> at least uh, <laughs> at least we're in the silver range just about with that beaver tail. So there it is, a 1976 penny for me and a uh, nice gold earring. earring for the Huntress. All right, enough about that. Let's go find us some goods. All right, I'm in Delta Pitch right now. Zero disc, Delta Pitch, and uh, no EMI, you can see. And it's a uh, sensitivity is up there to 90, as you can see. So Delta Pitch right there, zero disc, let's listen. <laughs> Yep, that is a pretty trashy park right here, that's for sure. Alright, I'm trying all sorts of different tones and modes, and first time out with the F75, so I'm trying to get used to it. I got disc high right now, monotone. 75, 77, 72, it's bouncing around dime quarter. Five inches. We'll see what it is and see if it's five inches. Alrighty, and it was about a good five inches down roughly. There it is, a clad dime. 96 or 90, I can't really tell, 96, there it is, 1996, nothing great, on to the next. All right. 91, 92, jumps around into the 80s. Six inches, right there. 80, 80, 89, 91, 92. A little jumpy, might be a bottle cap, but let's find out. And of course, there it is. It was a rusty bottle cap, just like I thought it was due to it jumping around. All right, there it is. On to the next. All right, so first credible find of the day is a 64 penny right there so there it is we are in the silver range at least i have like four zincs and two pull tabs i've pulled as well so targets are definitely coming in clearer excuse the dog there barking behind me targets are coming in clearer 
that's for sure um, with this 5 inch DD so I have found just about as much as I did on that last hunt boy I'm, I'm telling you guys I did terrible she got like 15 20 coins and I got like four I'm not joking it was terrible but I was messing around with the F75 I'm not used to it I come from a T2 so it is similar in many aspects but there's a lot of different nuances and stuff I was playing around that's my excuse of course on why she won that's it I think I got a zinc there, 62. Then another one here, but oh, perhaps a dime. Next to it, I might have a coin spill, might be a bottle cap something. But there's a strong zinc there, next to something else there, that pushes it up into the 70s. And then this one here. So we'll dig all three, all two, all three, see how many, see what it is, how many there is. Let's do it. Well, just as I thought, there was definitely two zincs there. There was no dime or anything else that was good. So I didn't even pull any junk out, it was just the two zincs. There is a signal there, but it's real broken now. It's going all over the place. I may dig it. If it's anything good, I'll show it. But if not, oh well, there it is, two zinc pennies. I may just call this one the Zinc Penny Hunt. So one right there, 62. And then one right next to it. Both real shallow sounding, I'm guessing one, two inches. Let's find them. And they were right there, one was right there, one right next to each other, about oh, four inches apart, roughly. Just like we thought they were. Two zinc pennies. There they are. So the five inch coil works very well in this trash. Extremely trashy right here. Um, so yeah, it's pulling up the zincs, that is for sure. Not very shallow, of course, but you know, I ran, I was digging zincs the other day and I ran my 11 inch coil over some of this area and did not get a lot of these zinc hits. So it goes to show you getting, you know, multiple coils is a must have if you want to get every last target. That's for sure. That is for sure. All right, on to the next. All right, pretty iffy signal here. It's all over the place, but it pinpoints pretty deep. So it's pinpointing seven inches. Pretty deep for a bottle cap, so. Gonna dig it and find out. So seven inches was the pinpoint. It was right on the money, but here's why it's so jumpy. Look at that, it's just a piece of a zinc penny. You know, maybe half a half a one with it all cut up like that. Yeah, yeah, it's cut pretty good. Half of a zinc penny right there. Seven inches, and you could hear it. It was getting choppy. It was pretty nasty. It was up averaging, which is good. You always I prefer a detector to up average than down average, so there it is. Pretty good. Boy, that 5 inch coil is busting down to depths of 7 inches and hitting corroded zincs. Um, yeah, the ID wasn't perfect, but who cares? I mean, that really doesn't matter when you're going to the fringe of its detection depth. So if that was a quarter, something like that, we're looking at, you know, 7, 8 inches. No problem on a quarter with a 5 inch coil. So yeah, this thing will definitely reach down and uh, touch the coins that are really deep, this F75. Good stuff. I'm pretty happy with that actually for it being a crusty zinc. I, this is the happiest I have ever been right here to dig a corroded, crusty, chopped up zinc penny. That's for sure. All right. Solid dime signal. Real shallow. Two, three inches. Two inches. 
Let's retrieve this dime. And just like the F75 said, a dime in the hole. However, look at that. A 75 penny as well there. So an 87 dime and a 75 penny. Same hole. Score. All right, just pulled this quarter up. Maybe a half inch under the ground. It sure what it sounded like. It wasn't. I mean, it was literally a half inch down. So, oh, I guess I should pull out the headphone here. Solid 83. See ID on that quarter. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to call it a short video here. Got a little mixed in with the last hunt. I didn't have much footage, so I'm just going to kind of combine them together here and uh, call it a video. Hope you enjoyed it. The Hunter GT signing off. I will see you on the next video.